and gentlemen, Shark and Oak present three three-minute rounds in an amateur featherweight contest. And in the red corner with a record of three wins and five defeats, winning at 145 pounds, representing Exile MMA from Great Yarmouth, Chris the Honey Badger Hayes. And his opponent finds at the blue corner the record two wins and five defeats. Winning at 145 pounds. Representing Jim one in Portsmouth, Holly Southern. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Andy Nichols. Referee Andy Nichols about to get this one underway. Three three minute rounds if they need them here at Shock and All 25. Chris Hales representing XL MMA in the black shorts. Ollie Southern representing Jim One in the black with white trim. And Colin, this is one of the undercard contests I've been most looking forward to, and another really Evenly matched contest here. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, both guys good fighters. Again, another well matched uh, fight. Holly Southern, you know, he's he's really he's really come leaps and bounds in the last few fights. Really, a lot more confident, especially in the stand up. His stand up's good. I mean, but he, you know, he he loves the grappling too. Hayes does seem seem to look like the more powerful fighter, but looks can be deceiving. Oh, nice trip, but Hayes straight back to his feet. Yes, Chris, go for you. A stinging low leg kick there from Hayes. Both men just 23 years of age. Southern fighting Gad of Portsmouth, so right in his own backyard. And Hayes representing Great Yarmouth, not too far away either. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Yes. There you go, the corner of Chris Hayes calling for the combinations there. Southern looking very focused. Yeah, his striking's got a lot more sharp. Again, this is where, where Southern wants to be. He wants to, to use the fence. 
Go back in the middle again now. He's looking very, very determined. Gets that takedown. Yeah, lo lovely uh, single leg there. Ollie attacking straight away, which I really like to see. It's really important, I think, in MMA, you have to have a busy guard. This is, it's not a place to, to rest. It's not a place to really defend. You, you just need to be like, nice and active. Yes. Looking for in the mission control here perhaps for looking to cinch that triangle up and he does just Ooh. too high on the back of the head though he can go for it again straight back on the attack though is Ollie Southern this could spell trouble for Hayes it's, it's getting tighter and tighter he's got that ankle, getting that ankle right behind the knee now he's still just over the foot Hayes tries to slam his way out he didn't have the arm of Hayes pulled right across but pretty much as close as you're going to get there without completely locking that triangle off. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, slamming's not really the best thing to do from that position because it just tightens the triangle. And especially uh, the way that, that Ollie was uh, grabbing underneath the leg. You know, it tightens the triangle, cuts the angle. Uh, and, you know, when, when you hit the mat, it just tightens it up. So it's not, it's not the best defense. Unless you're Rampage Jackson. No. Uh, yeah. All these built slightly differently to Rampage Jackson. Only slightly, yeah. <laughs> but certainly does have the build for chucking out those triangles and arm bars from the guard with the long legs there. Yeah, I mean, what I really liked was that Ollie w went for the triangle. Hayes, you know, kind of escaped it, but it was still there. He didn't do enough to escape it, so Ollie put it back on again. What I would have really liked to have seen is maybe a switch to the armbar, because that can go on really quick. We'll see if Ollie Southern gets that opportunity here in the second round. Nice snap jab there from Wells. Wells perhaps with a little bit of catch up to do here in round two. Flashy hands from the Jim one man there. Um, Hayes, for me, he's a little bit flat footed at the moment. Punches his way into a attempted body lock there, perhaps, but Southern reverses the situation and now he's chasing. A single leg takedown against the cage. Looking to rip his man off the fence here. Switches to a double. Nice. Perfect stuff from Ollie Southern. And perhaps we'll see what Chris Hayes has got in his arsenal from the guard position now. Yeah, and let's, and let's see if he, um, how his cage control is. I mean, from here, he's got a good opportunity, if he wants to, to stand up where he is. Uh, you know, he'd need to open up his guards, put his elbow to the fence and then match his elbow with his knee and stand up if he can. He may not want to do that, um, but it is an option if he knows it. He's just trying to hang on for dear life here, perhaps force a restart, just holding on to the back of Southern's head, preventing him from getting any real leverage to, to throw any shots here. Yeah, I mean, he's not, he's not really trying any subs from here. And you see referee Andy Nichols there just warning the fighters that they will get stood up if there's not action. Nice right hand from Ollie Southern there. Yeah, perfect there. He pulled his arm away, avoided the arm bar over the top with the right hand. Good move. really has shut down Chris Hayes in this second round. Hayes just not able to get out from underneath Ollie Southern or, or throw anything up by way of offense from his back. And Southern with a bit of space there. And every time he gets an inch, 
He's throwing a few of these short shots in. And it's all going to be adding up on the judges' scorecards. Yeah, Ollie Southern really right where he wants to be. I mean, and he's keeping busy. He's keeping the referee happy enough. Um, Hayes looked like some sort of... Yes! Sort of... Oh, he, he almost a can opener there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was almost like a, a Thai uh, plum clinch, and he used it as a sweep, which is... Which works, yeah. Fair play. No time to play with it, though, at the end of that second round. And you've got to think that's a big one for the Jim one fighter there, Colin. I think so, yeah. I think he, you know, he was all over him, really. Um, I, you know, I noticed that, that Hayes was a little bit more flat-footed in the second round. Absorbed a few more shots. And you can see in the replay... He, he really rushed, bull rushed forward to get the, the takedown, but ended up giving up position and having his back to the, to the fence, which, as we mentioned before, Jim O'Wan really, really enjoys that position yeah. and putting pressure on him and, and getting the takedown. Ollie got a nice um, connection with his hands and, and the p big pickup and got the takedown, which was great for him. And mentally as well, you know, if that's something that you spent so much time drilling and so much time working in the gym, if you can get a live fight to that position, you're in your comfort zone then. Exactly, yeah. Touch of gloves, third and final round underway here at the Pyramid Centre in Portsmouth, England. Plenty of great action here at Shock and Awe 25. Oh. Uppercut missed there from Southern and... Chris Hayes able to effect a takedown. Yeah, Hayes initiated the takedown. It was a good call from Southern there because he, he really didn't want to give up the position and he was almost giving his back. It was almost like he had to make the decision, am I going to stay here, possibly give up my back, or am I going to accept the takedown? Um, and this is where we are now. But he's going to fight to get his guard back, I would have thought, as much as he possibly can. And then you'll probably see a similar thing. You know, he'll, get, he'll edge his hips away, maybe use the fence to get up if he can. Uh, at the moment, though, he's, he's going to have to change this position first. Some great shoulder pressure from Chris Hayes. I'm, wonder, I'm wondering if uh, Hayes is going to look to pass or just be content to use this position to strike. It can be a great position to strike from. He looks to be trying to pull that second leg through. Southern, though. Not allowing it thus far. Yeah, Southern needs to change the uh, the tide of this fight, really. Try and get his guard back and, and work from there. I mean, he was really, really effective in the short time he had in his closed guard anyway, so... And again, we see the referee just calling for a little more action. If the fighters want to keep this position, they'll have to oblige him. Hayes seeming content to essentially ride this one out from top position for the time being. Now the referee's going to stand them up, seen enough. Yeah, I think that was a good call. There wasn't a lot happening there. Oh, Hayes is corner calling for the the combination punches. Oh, and a slip there from Southern. I wonder, I wonder if Southern was faking there. I wonder if it was a fake. And <laughs> you hear Chris Hayes corner asking for knees. And Hayes gets another takedown. There can't be too much long left in this round. Final no. 10 seconds, there we go. And Hayes is going to ride this one out. It's going to make the scoring very interesting. But with the tactics that Chris Hayes has employed in this third round, you've got to think that he's had, in his own mind, at least one round already in, in the bag. And he was really content to just ride out that top position a, a couple of times in the, second, in the third round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I don't want to. I wouldn't want to. That's, that's why I don't be judging. I wouldn't want to be a judge here. Um, some great techniques from both guys. Again, Ollie Southern's punching really good. 
his footwork especially good. You know, he circled a lot. Yeah, looking at the, the replay, to me, it did kind of look like he was faking for something there. Um, some great work from Southern up against the, the defence, getting the takedown from there. Um, Hayes looks to have a good amount of power in his shots, whether it be the kicks or the punches, but, but a little bit flat-footed at times. Um, but in the third round, some great takedowns from him, though, and some good control. Well, the scorecards have been tallied. We're about to get our answers here, and our MC, Ricky Wright, will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've had to go into the judges' scorecards. The judges scored about 29-28, Hayes. 29-28, Southern. And 29-28 for your winner by split decision. In the blue corner, Holly Southern. And let's cheer for your runner-up, Chris Hayes.